recently, um, I caught a video of, of, well, and this isn't a video. This, uh, there's many, there's lots of different, lots of different media out there reporting this kind of thing. Lots of different folks saying this kind of stuff. But the idea that, that um, white Christian men are being persecuted. Right? White Christian men are being persecuted. We are under attack. Uh, it's awful. God help us all. God save us. Um, on that, a couple of things. And I want to make sure that we get this out. No one, no one should ever be, ever be persecuted for their gender. So should men be persecuted? Absolutely not. No, it's not okay. It's just not fair. Have men been awful in the past? Yes. Historically speaking, have we done bad things? For sure. But that doesn't mean we should be persecuted today. Nobody, nobody should be persecuted. Nobody should be persecuted for their gender. Women shouldn't be persecuted for being their, for their gender. Men shouldn't be persecuted for their gender. No one. Trans people shouldn't be persecuted for their gender. Nobody ever for any reason should be persecuted for their gender. The other thing is skin color. White men. Nobody, sh nobody should be persecuted for their skin color either. Nobody. I think you get my, think you get where I'm coming from. We should not be persecuted for our skin color. We should not be persecuted for our gender. I'm also going to say we should never be persecuted for our faith. We should never be persecuted for our religion. In, in, in our nation, Canada, the United States, Australia, we got people all over the place, right? It's awesome. Sweden, Austria, England, Scotland, Vietnam, uh, New Zealand. Uh, uh, there's folks from every, all over the place around here. Nobody should be persecuted for their religion. Hindus shouldn't be persecuted for their religion here. Jewish people shouldn't be persecuted for their religion here. Uh, Muslims shouldn't be persecuted for their religion here. Mormons, Christians, Roman Catholics, Baptists, Pentecostals, Seventh-day Adventists, nobody, 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 nobody should be persecuted for their religion. But here's the thing about Christianity. <laughs> Literally, it's part of the contract. I know that sounds awful, but we're told it's coming. Christians are, when you pick up your cross and follow me, you will be persecuted for the things that I say. You will be persecuted for, for following me. You will suffer for being my followers. You will suffer for being my disciples. These are the things that Jesus said to the people that were following him. It matters to us too. As Christians, we sh should have walked into this reading the contract it's in the fine print as a christian you will experience persecution i'm not saying we i'm not saying in this world today you deserve it nobody deserves it and 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 it shouldn't happen christians should not be persecuted people of faith should not be persecuted for their faith but jesus literally tells us it's coming we know historically speaking it happened. We know that during some of the great Christian persecutions that have that transpired in the world, that it actually crazily, unimaginably, I can't quite figure out why it does this, but it led to to an explosion of faith. It leads leads to an increase of faith. Again, I'm not saying anybody should ever be persecuted for their faith, but it is something that the one we follow the one we christians believe in the one we christians say we are disciples of the one we christians say we are trying to emulate the one we christians proclaim when we get our opportunities the one we christians are trying to trying to be like tells us it'll happen and so when I hear, when I hear these folks on a pulpit to their congregation say, you know, uh, we're being, I'm, Christians are being persecuted. It's odd. Oh, it sucks. It's, it's awful. 
but it's part of the contract. It's part of the contract. Should it happen? No. But it's going to happen. Now, with that being said, is it happening because you're a Christian or is it happening because you're a jerk? Is it happening because of your faith or is it happening because you're obnoxious with your faith? Is it, is it happening because, you know, these, these things also matter. But yeah, I even think, I even think Jesus tells us that when we are persecuted for his sake, when we are persecuted for righteousness sake, when we are persecuted for being his followers, that there's a blessing in that for us, that, that we are to rejoice, not complain, that we're to rejoice when we are being persecuted for being authentic Christians, right? When we are persecuted for, for, for being actual disciples of Jesus Christ. Oddly enough, oddly enough, we're supposed to rejoice in that, not complain. Again, nobody, nobody of any faith or of a person with, of, of no faith, nobody should be persecuted for what they believe or what they don't believe. And, and I don't know about you know, how, what, what Hindus believe about persecution. I don't know what Jewish people believe about being persecuted. I, I don't know what, what, what Muslims believe about being persecuted, but I know what Jesus tells us about when we are persecuted because of him. We rejoice. There are many places in the world where people are persecuted for their for their, for their religion, for their faith, but it isn't here from a Christian perspective. Christians are not persecuted here. And all of a sudden, I just, I, the gall, the gall of North American Christians, of Western Christians, the gall of Western Christians to complain about being persecuted it's 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 just beyond the pale okay. amen